local forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. I've got a live look from all different parts of the mid state and we've just had such a wonderful day. Clear blue skies, hardly any cloud cover and that made for warm temperatures. We have low dew points, which is also a good thing as well. Temperatures at the moment sitting in the upper 70s to low 80s. We've got 79 in Harrisburg, 77 in Louisville and sitting at 80 in York. So it was comfortable and I hope you are able to get out and enjoy it. Of course, we also have a great Sunday ahead as well. A lot of this comfort has to do with those low dew points, which right now are in the low 40s to uh, upper 40s to low 50s. And as long as they stay in that range, you're going to get that dry warmth that we're uh, we've been accustomed to at times uh, this spring and eventually this summer. Higher pressure is starting to build into the region, though, and that's going to result in warming as soon as tomorrow. Significant warming heading into next week for tonight, dropping down to about 68 degrees, maybe a little bit less than that. It's going to be cool as you step out the door, but that's nice. It's nice to get the warm day and then kind of the cool morning. You get uh, both sides of the coin there in terms of temperatures, and we're going to get a little bit warmer, mid to upper 80s, for the high on Sunday it should be still comfortable though sunshine abounding next week. We're also going to see plenty of sunshine. The only difference might not feel so nice outside. In fact, we're expecting probably the hottest stretch that we have seen maybe in years as we every uh, lots of states in the Northeast getting into the 90s humidity returns as well. So it's going to be hot. It's going to be muggy. Uh, not only that, uh, you could see some near record temperatures in many places, mid to upper 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even beyond that. Uh, the question is, can we reach it? I think we will on maybe a day or two. This is all driven by the fact that we have extreme ridging going across the uh, North American North American continent, and that's creating basically this heat dome that is allowing these temperatures to rise and rise and rise. And so uh, something of interest that you could track is, well, the consecutive number of days in the 90s, the max is 11 days. I could very well see us matching that record. We'll see what happens, but certainly as we get into next week, it is a, uh, a crazy pattern that we're experiencing as we get into mid to late June and uh, summer doesn't even start until Thursday. So technically we are uh, way uh, ahead of track and we only had about three or four 90 degree days last year. So we'll wait and see, but uh, certainly interesting pattern coming up. I'll send it over to you, Allie.